So the second tool I'm going to show you how to install with is with good old fashioned hammer and nails. With the hammer and nails, use the same technique for mounting the corner pieces. Make sure the sample piece is square with the corner piece on both sides and be sure to maintain pressure on the corner piece once it is square. If it requires adjustment, play with the corner piece by moving it left and right up and down until it is square. Notice that when I am nailing the block in, I am keeping constant pressure on the block with my free fingers to prevent it from moving. It doesn't require a lot of force as the pieces are pretty light. You just want to make sure it doesn't move. An alternative method is to preset your nails prior to mounting your corner piece. After the nails are in, use a nail punch to countersink the nails. Countersinking means to get the nail head hammered far enough so that the head is inside of the molding and no longer protruding. Now that our corners are installed, we're going to measure and calculate our cuts. Here is the overhead layout of the room we will be working on. The wall we are currently working on, wall A, is measured at 140 inches. Each length of linea crown molding is 96 inches, which means this wall will require two lengths of molding and one relay piece. We want the relay piece to land in the center of the wall to create symmetry. This wall will also have an inside and outside corner. The inside corner takes 4 inches and the outside corner takes 2 inches of wall space. The relay takes up a total of 2 inches. To calculate our cut, we take 140 inches, the total length of the wall, minus the corner pieces and relay piece. We then divide this number by the pieces of molding our wall will require. The result is 66 inches. Be sure to make only one cut at this length we will measure the exact length of the final piece after the first piece has been mounted and installed. To install your linea crown molding after you have made your calculation, set the molding and make light marks underneath the crown. Tap a nail halfway in to act as a guide and carrier for your piece. Apply your industrial strength adhesive on the back. Six to eight nails per length of molding should be adequate for the hold. The industrial strength adhesive will provide a long lasting hold. After the nails are in, countersink them using a punch.
Now that this piece is installed, we can remove the guide nail. Use a cloth to prevent damage to your wall when prying the nail out. Now that the moldings are mounted, it's time to caulk and patch them. As you can see in this close-up shot, the seams and nail holes are still partially visible. It requires caulk to fill in these seams to complete the look we are trying to achieve. First, use a simple patch and paint or nail hole filler to fill your nail holes. Next, use caulk to fill the seams. We recommend a 50-year Brilliant White Caulk as this best matches the standard finish of Linnea crown moldings. Keep a damp rag nearby to help clear excess caulk. Notice the difference between the cocked portion of the seams and the non-cocked portion. Once you are done patching, the room is now complete. Linnea crown moldings act as a perfect finishing touch for the room. It is like framing a beautiful painting. Well, that was easy. I hope this uh, tutorial and video guide has answered all the questions you may have had about installing our beautiful crown moldings. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us anytime at their email address at info at moldings.com or toll free at 877-635-4448. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Please come back and visit our website again to look for any new videos or material we might have posted. Thanks.